My name is Blake Banks, and I'm finishing up my last semester of grad school here at UGA. I grew up not far from Athens and was raised a Jehovah's Witness. From an early age, the importance of going to church and serving God was drilled into me. However, as a Jehovah's Witness, I was discouraged from having any friends outside of the congregation, from playing sports, attending school events, and well, anything fun for a kid. I felt that God was this rigid God who required so much from us and held us to a standard of perfection that I constantly felt short of. My relationship with him was based on service, so I never felt that personal connection and even began to resent God for how joyless I was in my everyday life. Once I got into my senior year of high school, I decided to find my own way. I stopped attending meetings and started living however I wanted to. This continued for most of my college years. I lived for the weekends, for the bars, for sleeping around, and for whatever made me feel good. I knew I had a void in me that I was trying to fill with anything I could besides God. All these sinful things that made me feel good in the moment made me feel terrible later. It was a vicious cycle of shame and regret. On May 21st of last year, I was on the lake fishing. I remember looking out on the water and admiring how beautiful God's creation is. I began to pray. I asked God to awaken my spirit and to specifically give me something to kickstart my journey to Him. The very next day, plans changed for a family beach trip we were going on, and I ended up riding with my older sister. During our car ride, she started sharing with me how she's found a personal relationship with Jesus and how much happier she is now. Megan explained how God is alive in her life and the incomprehensible joy brought with it. The book Desiring God by John Piper started her journey, so I knew it would be how I started mine. I purchased this book, started journaling my prayers, and asked for a thirst from God that can never be quenched. I made the decision to give my life to Jesus and to receive the grace that He offered me. Since then, I've watched a transformation unfold in my heart. I've joined a small group here at the church, and I don't miss a Sunday if I can help it. My interests and desires have completely changed. I'm now trusting God in every aspect of my life, and I'm full of joy as a result. The more I trust and lean into God in all matters, the deeper my faith grows. I make it a point to spend time with Him every day. The Word of God now seems to come to life on the page. I understand now that His requirements for us are not burdensome, but rather to maximize our joy and minimize our sadness. Now when I'm faced with big decisions, they don't seem so big anymore because I know my Heavenly Father will guide me in the best possible direction. I've fully submitted my life to Christ, and with a new, rejuvenated life, I'm here today to publicly declare that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. Blake, man, thank you so much for sharing your story. It takes a lot of courage, and, uh, but man, it's, we're so grateful for it. Um, you know, I think a lot of us can identify with you, that we pursue the things of the world, we try, but we're told will bring us fulfillment and joy and freedom and life and all that. And um, you, you said it, it just left you empty. And um, I love how, you know, God, personal God is. He meets you out in a fishing boat. And then um, even more personal, just he puts you in the car with your sister. And what an incredible thing for that to happen. And, um, and you've just over and over again just said, Jesus is better. I'm walking with Jesus. Jesus is better. Jesus is better. And you show all of us he's better. The scripture says that if anyone is in Christ, they're a new creation. The old is gone and the new has come. And man, you're so evidence, such evidence of that, of a new life. And those of us that got to walk with you, man, we've seen it. We've seen it. And uh, we're just super excited for you. Um, as you follow Christ, man, he's not only better now, he will always be. Yes. And he's got a plan for your life that's so good. Man, you don't want to miss it, and you're not. And so we're excited to see how that plays out in the years ahead. But man, right now, because of your um, trust in Christ, it's just an honor to get to baptize you as my brother. In the name of the Father who loves you, in the name of the Son who gave his life for you, and the Holy Spirit who no doubt lives inside of you. Yeah.